Little baby in the news again. This makes the second time he is in the news. First he was in the news for fighting Offset. Now he in the news for doing what? Go ahead, brother Israel. He is in. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get this phone charger before I lose you guys. Don't lose me. Alright. This is from me to take on news.com. I go headline. Is rapper Lil Baby allegedly drops former friend 42 Doug after he admits to sucking dick. Um, what's what's the friend's name? 42 Doug. 42 D U G. Doug, you said right? Yeah, D U G G. Oh, D U G G. Notice that's 42. You know what I'm saying? 42 represents black people. Not only does 42 represent black people, 42 represents, it's stamped all over black history. It's stamped all over um, February, black history. It's stamped all over Martin Luther King. It's stamped all over, it has everything to do with black and the downfall of the black man. So no wonder why 42 thug. Or dog, or whatever, whatever his name is, got caught doing this abominable, abominable act because it makes the black man looks like what, like a bitch. And the black man is not supposed to look like a bitch because the black man are the real kings of this earth. But anyway, go ahead, brother Israel. This is from Media Takeout News once again. Lil Baby has finally spoken out about 42 Thug raping or rapping about his past when 42 rapped lyrics suggesting he was forced to suck dick for rent. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute, hold up. How old was he? How old was he? Yeah. How can you be forced to suck dick for rent? I, I I don't understand that. That's something that you wanted to do. Can nobody? <laughs> okay, so he rapped this. He rapped about. He rapped this on a track. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's hear it. Go ahead. You, you and you know what I think this is? I think this is I think this is just a publicity stunt for rapper forty two Doug to come out as a gay rapper. You know, that's what I think this whole thing is. But go ahead. suggest that he was forced to suck dick for rent. And according to a tweet purportedly from Lil Baby, 42 Doug has been dropped by his record label and crew, 4PF. What record label? 4PF. Mm, so that's not quality control. No, the crew, the label and the crew is 4PF. No, yeah. the record label, but the crew, I'm not sure, like, when they put the slash between record label and crew, uh, the name is, uh, 4PF, but I guess the crew is 4PF, the record label, I'm not sure what that is. Well, the record label must not be worth a damn, because nobody, I ain't never heard of it. 
You know what I'm saying? So, it's a good thing you is dropped from that damn record label. If it ain't worth a damn, do it even have a major distribution deal? But I think, and he got dropped, and Little Baby is doing what? Distancing, distancing himself from him? Robin? Look, as you said, Little Baby is doing what to him? Dropping him. Like, it's not, it's not pretty, pretty much not claiming him as a crew member or anything. Okay, and what was the reason for Little Baby to, you know what I'm saying, talk about this? Like I said, this is, you know what I'm saying, really to put damn this nigga out. As, he probably, the rapper probably going to come out as a, the first gay rapper. Uh, not the first gay rapper, because there's plenty of gay rappers out there, but he's probably trying to come out as a gay rapper. But go ahead, Brother Drew. Before those lyrics dropped, leaked. Before those lyrics leaked, 42 Doug was one of the hottest artists under Lil Baby's 42 BF label. Oh, so that's Lil Baby's label? Yeah, that's his label. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. That's not the, uh, that's not quality control, that's not the dish, uh, buter, that's, uh, pretty much Lil Baby's crew. Okay, okay, well, Lil Baby, you know what I'm saying? This you is... How, you know how Bad Boys was, uh... Fucking but, but back in that and P Daddy, they were they have their own um that was actually I can't even compare that because back yeah. then it was different. Basically what this is, this is Lil Baby giving the forty two dog um some clout. That's all he doing. Because let me tell you something. Because if he did something like this by you just not saying nothing and just going ahead and letting them go, dropping them, distancing yourself, you know what I'm saying? You're not giving him no clout. And at the same time, you're distancing yourself from him. But by you being the hottest rapper right now, and you saying this, all that's going to do is bring more people to listen to his shit. Might be some gay people to listen to his shit. Give him that motherfucking damn, you know what I'm saying? That that notoriety that he needed, being that you dropped him from your label. So now he got a buzz. Because before he didn't have a buzz. Because I never heard of the nigga. Have you heard of the nigga, Brother Israel? No, sir. So he didn't have a buzz back then. So now he got a buzz because now you put him out there. So that tells me that you planned this shit. Well, I would fuck this dog up if he gets to my water. To again. give this nigga some buzz. Maybe some other, now that he got this little buzz, maybe some other label might sign him. But uh, go ahead, brother Drew. Niggas fucking straight trip. <laughs> And chew the top of my water. Um, what was that? That was, uh, now that may all be over, World Star Hip Hop posted a tweet that 42 Doug has been dropped from the label. After word came out about these lyrics, Lil Baby was swift to drop the rapper as soon as the controversy hit. Me to take out news is heating that. And. <laughs> Lil Baby quickly distanced himself from the rapper. And wait a minute. And wait a minute. And Lil Baby can't just drop the rapper. Because if the rapper is already signed to your label, you can't, Lil Baby can't breach that contract. That's why you're on saying uh, the Migos and them uh, quality control is going to court and going through that shit. When you are signed to a contract, you can't just drop the the owner who signed them can't just drop them, but the owner can shelf them, but you can't drop them because it's a con. That's what a contract is for. You see, somebody you don't know say, especially the both parties got to agree. 
to part from that contract. If both parties don't agree, then you know what? 42 Thug can sue little baby for breach of contract. See, stop looking, stop looking at things as what these celebrities tell you what it is. Because it's deeper than that. Can't break no damn contract. They're just like them. They're just like them. You know what I'm saying? You sign up for a home mortgage loan. Do you think you can just get out of that home mortgage loan without having a fucked up credit and still own the bank for the money that you paid? For that long. You still. I know people who you don't know say. Whose house went in the foreclosure. But yet they still owe the bank money. Because it's a contract. I know people whose car got repossessed. And they still owe the financial services company money. For the car that they don't have. So you mean to tell me that little baby got the authority to override his contract that he signed with 42 Doug and drop 42 Doug like that? And with nothing? Fuck out of here. I'm not believing it. I'm believing that, you know what I'm saying, it is what I said it was. Little baby was giving 42 Doug some clout. To go ahead and fly. So whatever 42 Thug put out. Motherfuckers are going to listen to it. Why? Because they want to hear. What shit 42 Thug got to say. About Lil Baby. Anyway. Let's go wrap this up. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and my co-host is Brother Lamik Israel. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this show, hit that hate button if you hate this show, hit that combo, leave a question or comment on this show. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.